Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Planning Serenity, where we plan for serenity. My name is Jessica, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I fill out the first week of my meal plan based off of my monthly meal plan that I did in a previous video. So if you didn't see this video, you should go back and watch this one first, so this one will make sense. Anyway, let's get into it. So I just want to start off by saying, if you're new here, I really appreciate you stopping by. If you're returning, you already know how I feel about you. Um, as mentioned, the last video was my monthly meal plan and I pretty much did a plan with me and then put all my meals down, explained the process, well, part of the process. So I am going to go more into depth on the weekly. This video is also up, so be sure to check that out if you have not seen this video yet. Um, but this particular video is just specifically going to be me, me filling it out and explaining where I get what I got. <laughs> where I'm, where, okay. Let me also start by saying this. If you are new here, I am three years sober, but I am a recovering alcoholic. I will always be a recovering alcoholic. Um, so sometimes my thoughts, the way they are in my head, do not come out properly or how I intend for them to come out. So I do apologize, but you should be able to get the gist. It's not that bad. <laughs> so let's get into it. Okay, so a part of my monthly that I did not show and I let y'all know that I would is what I do with this shopping list. So essentially I went each day, <clears throat> excuse me, and wrote out the main meat or the main ingredient that we would need for each meal. So really quickly, I will go through it with you all because I also need to tally how much of each particular one that we will need. Um, and then that'll transfer over week to week, um, as well as with our shopping list. Um, so I'm hoping this is making sense so far. All right, y'all, there is too much going on with the, um, with my planner in the way. So what I do or did slash gonna continue to do is I went day by day. So loaded shrimp, baked potato, the main thing I'm gonna need for that is raw shrimp, obviously. So I did put that there. Um, so I'm just gonna write shrimp here and then a tally of one. Taco bar, we're gonna need ground beef. And for taco bar, I'll just need one pound. So I'll just put one tally of one. Honey, soy, chicken, and ramen. Um, we're gonna need chicken thighs for that. And I'm just putting a little abbreviations over here that I will know what it means. Um, so a, one pack of chicken thighs will be good for that. And then eggplant lasagna. Um, we will need a, a, a one medium eggplant or maybe a large one would be good for that. So I'll just put one. Um, and let's see. And if you, I have, I have stickers on me. <laughs> Um, and if you notice, this is all lining up with what's over here, um, and eventually this will transfer over to here. Cheesesteak Sloppy Joes, I need um, ground beef for that. So that's another pound of ground beef, so I'm just going to put a tally next to there. Uh, curry chicken, I will need um, chicken, boneless chicken thighs for that. I'm just going to write um, be less here. So I know that it's boneless chicken thighs because I will need chicken thighs later on and those will be bone in. So I need um, another pack of boneless chicken thighs. So that's two. Smothered turkey. So turk wings. I need one. And again, this is written over here already because I already went day by day before I started with you all. Um, garlic, butter, lemon, shrimp, scampi. Um, we need another shrimp. Um, Actually, so far, see, <laughs> y'all get to see the mess ups. So far, um, one, sh one pack of shrimp should be enough for these two meals. So I'm not gonna add another tally until it's needed. Um, so still one shrimp, chicken fajitas, I need um, chick breast. So one, creamy ziti, nothing, uh, beef and broccoli. I need thin sliced beef. All right, we need one of those. Southwest chicken wrap. Um, I need 
I'll probably use, hmm, I'll use breasts and then slice them into tenders. So I'll just add another tally to breasts. Mississippi roast. I need, hmm, I was trying to see if we're doing, no, see, that's Riera. I knew there was something. So I didn't realize until after a menu plan that this was Cinco de Mayo. Um, so I'm going to switch to Southwest Chicken Wrap with the Cheesesteak Sloppy Joes. Actually, no, I'm not because I'm craving something else. Um, ignore me. Okay, so let's continue. Mississippi Roast, I will need a roast for that, which I did not write over here. So we will need a roast. And I didn't write it because I wasn't sure what was going on in this corner um, because of Cinco de Mayo, but it's okay. Um, so we need a roast. Garlic, lemon, butter, chicken, and rice. That is where I need, where is this like, it's like little sticker scraps. Um, garlic, lemon, butter, chicken, and rice. That's where I need bone in chicken. So I'll just put bone I think I'll do thighs for that one. One eggplant lasagna. So I will need another eggplant. So that's two eggplants I need. This one is in a slow cooker um, with actual eggplant and lasagna noodles. This eggplant lasagna is roll ups using just the eggplant and you slice it really thin and roll it up just as you would like a lasagna roll up. Uh, taco casserole. We need another ground beef. Chicken bacon ranch pasta. We need another chicken breast, Korean beef bowl. I'm just gonna try to go as quickly as possible because as y'all know, I typically film at night, but I am filming during the day and it's my daughter's nap time. Um, so yeah, and I hear planes and trains and automobiles outside. So I do apologize. Um, and I don't want the lighting to be messed up because I feel like it's going in and out. But anyway, so we have Okay, chicken bacon, Korean beef. See, this is, I, I'm not the type of person that can interrupt myself. Korean beef bowl, I make that with ground beef. So we'll need another ground beef. Jerk wings. So we'll need chicken wings, one of those. Meatloaf, that's another ground beef. Beef ribs. That's just one. Um, don't need anything for that. Shrimp, now I'll probably need another one because I do have shrimp down here, so that makes sense. Okay, so I'll need two packs of shrimp. Um, nothing there, another chicken breast, um, another ground beef for the burgers. I need goat for the curry goat and just one of those. We have an international market near us where we get all of our curry, I mean our curry, all of our goat and um, international things like that and it's awesome um, brown stew chicken and cabbage I think I want to do chicken legs for that um, yeah I think I want brown stew chicken legs um, shrimp and cabbage this is where I said we'll need another shrimp so I already put that down and then we'll need crab meat um, Mexican pizza I will actually need another ground beef for that um, meatballs we already have. Okay, so then I take this scrap paper and transfer it over here so I know how much of each we are needing slash eating for the month. So shrimp, we have two. Ground beef, we have seven, so basically seven pounds. Chicken thighs, we have two, and these are boneless. Eggplant, we need two. Turkey wings, we need, it is dinner for one night, but the way turkey wings come in a pack, we'll need two packs, so I'll just put two. Uh, chicken breasts, we'll need four. Um, 
and that's not necessarily pounds, it's for four meals, and I'll know what that, that means there. Thin sliced beef. I feel like we needed it. No, because the Korean beef bowl is made with boneless. So thin sliced beef, we actually only need one. Uh, chicken wings, we only need it for one meal. Oops, that was wrong. Oh, good. So I, I, I said oops because that's chicken thighs and I've had it over here. I was going with chicken wings, but we only need one chicken thigh down here anyway, so that works. Um, chicken wings is one. Beef ribs is one. Goat is one. Crab meat is one. And roast is one. Now, okay, yeah. So I think that's pretty much all I need this scrap paper for. Um, if I need it again, obviously I could come back to it. So now we go to the shopping list for the actual week. Now the shopping list for the week is going to entail, actually, let's make it easier. Let's write what each meal is for the week so we can put this away. So for Monday, we're having loaded shrimp, baked potato. Okay. And then Tuesday, it's a taco bar. Wednesday, I'm going to put this away because we're done with this side. Actually, we're not because the one thing about Happy Planner that's confusing is it goes Sunday through Saturday on a monthly, but the weeklies are Monday through Sunday. So I'll just write, um, I'll just remember that Sunday is Mother Turkey. Okay, so Wednesday we have honey soy chicken um and ramen and then thursday we have eggplant lasagna Excuse me. Um, Friday. I have cheesesteak sloppy joes here, but I actually think I want Big Mac sloppy joes. And I did pull that, and you'll see when we get to the recipe part of it. Big Mac sloppy joes. And again, I know it's Cinco de Mayo, um, but we. As I said, my children's father is Spanish, so we um, we have plenty of Spanish food throughout the month, even if it's not set to have it. So we don't need a day dedicated to Spanish food. Um, so Big Mac, Sloppy Joes, and fries. So not saying it's like just another day for us, but it's kind of just another day. <laughs> Saturday um, is curry chicken. And it is butter baked cabbage, but I'm just gonna put cabbage. And usually you'll see I put the sides underneath, um, but I didn't wanna just put, it's curry chicken and cabbage is like a, I don't know. It's like you can't say curry chicken without having cabbage with it. I don't know, I'm weird about that. Um, and then Sunday was, what did we say? Smothered turkey, right y'all? Yes. I'm. My memory's not great, and I said we were going to remember. <laughs> right, just right. Okay. I'm sorry if this video is not, like, super fun, um, but it's what keeps my household in order, and I figured I would share with y'all my method um, because it really has been working for us. Okay. So, I hope this ink is dry. Sometimes I use the um, Papermate, flare, uh, Papermate flare pens, and I feel like the ink smudges okay so for the um how do I want to do this okay 
Let's fill in my daughter's lunches really quickly because um, those are easy and we won't have to worry about them. Um, so I do have to pack lunch for her um, every day. All right, so Monday we're gonna do homemade um, breadless Lunchables. And that's obvious what it is. I tried to get into the whole, um, you know how these cool moms, she'll have pasta on Tuesday. Um, you know how these cool moms, Wednesday she'll have leftover tacos and we have like a hot thermos where I can put like her hot food in it. Um, and she like, I pack like a little taco bar for her whenever we have tacos and she loves it. She thinks she's the coolest kid in school. Um, so she, Wednesday she'll have the leftover tacos. Um, but you know how some moms like, they like post the cutest lunches and videos for their kids. And I'm just like, who, what, when, where, why, how much, like how? I don't like, no. Um, so I do what I can though. So like her homemade lunch, breadless Lunchables, and I say breadless cause she doesn't like the crackers in the Lunchables. Um, and let's see, leftover tacos. Um, we'll do, let's see if there's anything that she'll like from, hmm. Friday, she'll have leftover lasagna, and that's fine because she had pasta Tuesday. But anyway, yeah, like those cool moms, um, leftover, the coolest meals for their kids, and like they, it, it seems like it takes them like five minutes in the kitchen, and they just, and their kids eat it. Like, I don't know what type of kids they have that are eating like hummus and cut cucumbers, and like, mm, no. Um, so for my homemade Lunchables, and she'll have another homemade Lunchable here, um, but for my homemade Lunchables, I do like, you know, grapes, and she loves bananas, um, and then obviously she gets, I get her like the real good deli meat, and I just give her slices of it instead of like little circles, um, homemade breadless, um, Lunchables. Um, and then for the cheese, she likes Colby Jack cheese, and she also likes non-smoked provolone, so I give her, like, the thick slices of that from the deli. Um, so I make her, like, little Lunchables, but the healthy version, I guess you can say, and then obviously she always has fruits and things like that. Um, so that's what those homemade breadless Lunchables are. Okay. So she'll have pasta, leftover tacos, homeless for Lunchable, and then leftover lasagna. Okay, that works. Her lunches are done. Now, let's write the sides for our meals. Um, loaded shrimp baked potato. We're just going to do a salad. Um, yeah, we'll just do a salad. Um, taco bar. There's no real sides for a taco bar. Um, but I'll put what we're having, I guess. So, lettuce. Tomato, sour cream, and again, this is usually the sides, but since it's a taco bar, that's essentially the whole meal, so the sides are like what goes along with the meal, if that makes sense. Um, sh shredded cheese, we'll also need tortillas and taco sauce and we my kids like taco bell so whenever i get them taco bell i just ask for like 30 packets of sauce um and i save them in like a condiment jar and we just use those whenever we have taco night all right so that's that and then honey soy chicken and ramen um we are just gonna have bok choy which is my absolute favorite vegetable um, but I actually like Shanghai tips, um, so I don't, I don't eat the full, those big, large bok, oh, sorry, <laughs> those big, uh, large bok choy, um, Shang, 
I think I just spelled that wrong. Shanghai Tips. I did. Don't judge me. Um, but the international mar market that I told you about, that's where we get our Shanghai Tips or our bok choy or things like that. Um, our Chinese broccoli. Um, but for some reason, my favorite types of vegetables are Asian. Like, if you give me Asian vegetables, I will eat bowls and bowls and bowls of them. Comment down below um, what's your favorite type of vegetable because I can eat Asian vegetables all day long. All right, so we're gonna have honey, soy, chicken, and ramen with some bok choy there. Eggplant lasagna doesn't really need a side, um, but I'll put garlic bread. And the reason I say it doesn't need a side is because it is very filling. As I said, this one I'm making comes with, um, I make it with lasagna noodles and the eggplant, and it's just super filling with tons of leftovers. Um, Big Mac Sloppy Joes. I put fries there, um, but I'll just put it again. Um, and then curry chicken. Um, now these are, these task lists were for like, because Saturday and Sunday we do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now I don't need to put breakfast because that's just always in my head, but I do need to write out what lunches we are having. So I will do that now. And in order to do that, I need to pull out my recipe binder. Now, I already pulled the recipes for the week and put them in here. If y'all want a flip through or a run through of my recipe binder, comment down below, let me know. I would be more than happy to do that, let y'all know how everything is organized. Um, but as you can see, she is thick. And if I add that to this video, it it like, yeah. Um, but comment down below if y'all want a run through of how I manage my recipe binder. So as I said, um, I usually pull all the recipes for the week and then just leave them in the front of my recipe binder. So we're just gonna take these out. Okay, and I think we decided, yeah. So for lunches, um, we are going to have, let's see how I wanna do this. Yeah, we're gonna have, garlic and I'm putting it here because I'm gonna put dinner sides there garlic parm shrimp and then Sunday we will have turkey bacon ranch subs and we uh, make Kimmy creations we love her recipes okay so that's that. And then these two are where I put out our weekend lunches just so I don't forget. And this is the ingredients for our weekend lunches. So while I have them out, definitely just wrote on my desk. Um, so garlic parm shrimp. Actually, let's start with the shopping list for dinners. Sorry y'all, um, it's easier to do this when you're like doing it by yourself, but like trying to explain the process. I hope this video does not end up being too long. Um, and if it does, I really do apologize, but I feel like letting y'all know how I do things would be sort of helpful. So shopping list is generally um, like the fresh ingredients that we're gonna need for the week because the main ingredients like the meats and the things that can go in the cabinet are usually purchased ahead of time. Um, they typically go on some scratch paper or like a little insert that I use. Um, but let's just get started for the meals for this week. So loaded shrimp baked potato, um, I need, so I need russet potatoes for that. We already have those, so I'm not gonna write them down. Um, I need, Let's see. And I just, I pretty much go based off of here. So all of the seasonings I have, so I just skipped over those. Um, to make the creamy sauce, I have onions. Oh my God. I hope I'm keeping all in frame, I'm so sorry. This video is gonna be a train wreck. <laughs> this series will get better with time, I promise. Um, so I have onions, I need bell, pe uh, bell peppers. Um, 
I actually do need more garlic cloves and we get those from the International Mart. Um, heavy cream. Again, these are usually fresh ingredients or things that we just don't keep stocked. I used to use heavy cream in my coffee, but I don't any longer. Um, and then parm slash shredded. I just used up all of my parm um, last week. And shredded cheese we use very often on the weekends. Um, parm and shredded cheddar is what I'm trying to say. Um, and then sour cream, we'll need that for tacos anyway. And then everything else I have because we have the shrimp. So that's it for this. And then for the salad, the side salad we're having with it, um, I'm gonna do a whole lettuce because, and I'll just chop it up because we'll need lettuce for tacos on Tuesday. And that's another way to save money, um, which is another reason I meal plan because you don't get unnecessary ingredients. Like before meal planning, if I needed, um, if I needed lettuce for a salad, I would have just got like the prepackaged salad. And then for tacos on Tuesday, I would have got probably shredded lettuce, you know? But that's like double buying lettuce for no reason when I could just have a whole lettuce for like $1.50 and then use it multiple ways. Um, so that's another benefit of meal planning is you don't duplicate your ingredients or get stuff or go to the store and get things you don't need. So we're going to do a whole lettuce for the side salad. Um, I already have onion crisps. I already have the cheese because I'll be getting it for... Um, the potato, um, and what else? And we already have ranch, so we're good for Monday. All right, so the chicken thighs, um, oh wait, sorry, taco bar. We need lettuce, got it, and then we need tomato, um, sour cream, we already got it, and shredded cheese, we already got it. I'll need tortillas. Um, let's see. Taco bar, taco bar, taco bar. Oh, taco sauce, I already have it. Cool. I think that's it for the taco bar. Um, I might make some rice on the side, but that's super easy and I already have all the ingredients for that. So yeah, that's it for Tuesday. Wednesday, we have honey soy chicken. Um, so chicken thighs, which we already have and soy sauce and again i'm saying we already have because the process i just went through with y'all i actually did it on scratch paper previously so i would be able to go shopping <laughs> before i filmed this um but okay continuing um so we already have the chicken thighs we already have soy sauce because i cook i cook a lot of asian food i i don't know it's just those flavors i just obsessed um so we already have everything we need for the honey soy chicken thighs and then the side of that is ramen and bok choy. Since we're going to the International Mart, we will get the bok choy. And I write bok choy even though it's Shanghai tips because I know, obviously I know which one I prefer. Um, the spicy garlic noodles. I make a whole bunch of different versions, but I just pulled this recipe from my book. And we have all of these ingredients except... Um, a spring onion because typically we keep regular onions on hand so we'll need a spring onion okay um slow cooker eggplant lasagna super super awesome recipe um i don't know screenshot or find it on pinterest if you can and try it out obviously i add my own seasonings here and there but love it um, eggplant, we already got. Lasagna noodles, got it. Um, actually, do we need? I'm gonna put it. Um, and if we already have it, I'll just check it off. Um, ricotta cheese, that is not something we keep on hand. Eggs, we have. Marinara sauce, we have. Um, cheese, we already listed. 
and I'll know, like, I can, I know how much teas we'll need for the week. Um, Parmesan cheese already listed. And it just, it just, it's just so exciting. Like, I literally get butterflies when ingredients match for the meals for the week and you don't have to buy extra. Um, but that is the goal with the monthly meal plan, if you didn't see that video. Um, and then everything else I have. And then the side for that is garlic bread, which we don't have any more of. And as you can see, I am putting two ingredients per line. Doesn't matter. I mean, I know there's a separation. Um, so as I said, I think I changed my mind on the cheesesteak sloppy joes and I want Big Mac sloppy joes. So I did already pull that. Um, ground beef we already have. We already have the dressing, the mayo, the pickles, the onions. Literally, the only thing I need for this is the burger buns. Which we obviously don't keep on hand. Um... All right, so then we have goat. Um, we already have the goat. Everything else, I don't cook it exactly to this, but I do do a version of this. Um, but I pulled this just so I can know in my head what I'm referring to. Um, and then we... already have tomato in here. Another example of the recipes meshing. I mean, the ingredients meshing per recipe. Um... I have everything I need. Curry powder, scotch bonnet, pepper sauce, Maggie cubes, thyme. Yep. So then, oh, and then the side for that, though. Oh, and then the Big Mac Sloppy Joe side fries we already have. Um, the side for the... What? Oh, I just got so confused. <laughs> We're having curry chicken, but I pulled curry goat because this is... The flavors of this curry goat is more so how I cook my curry chicken. I'm sorry, I just confused probably y'all and myself. Um, but so the sides for the curry chicken um, is butter baked cabbage and rice. Obviously, we already have rice, so I just need a head of cabbage because I have the chicken broth and the butter and all that that I use to make mine. Um, let's see. Actually, I should get more chicken broth because of the smothered turkey on Sunday. So, let's put chicken broth and I'll get it for cabbage and turkey just in case. And we already have the smothered turkey and let's see. Um, yes. Onion pack. Yes, we already have everything that we need for those. The weekend lunches, I said we were having garlic, parm, shrimp. And again, I explained in my last video of, in this series why I do this is because it's very easy to forget when you plan so much for dinner. It's so easy to forget lunch on the weekends, um, especially when you're a mom and you're just going, 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 going. And you're like, wait, did I even eat? lunch or like think about lunch did I feed my children's father like <laughs> um turkey bacon ranch and I can't fit subs which is fine because I already know it's subs so for the garlic shrimp parm um we need shrimp which we already have I need buttermilk And again, this is ingredients for lunch, and these are just lunches, big and bold, what we're having, and then I write them again over here, obviously. So let me just, I already wrote the lunches, and then dinners, um, the dinner sides were butter, baked, cabbage, and rice. And then smothered turkey side is going to be leftover rice from here and then leftover cabbage. So I'm just going to put leftovers. Um, okay. All right. So now back to the ingredients for lunch. Sorry, I'm hopping all over the place. So I need buttermilk. Um, I need... That's it. All right, so for the turkey bacon ranch subs, I need, I do need some good old turkey, some good thick, 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 juicy turkey. <laughs> turkey, sub rolls, 
already have ranch and we already have bacon because we need it for breakfast. I don't like that I just did a lowercase there. We already have bacon that we need it for breakfast, but um, we use the thick cut bacon for sandwiches. Thick cut. I can't stand paper mates over um, white out strips. Thick cut bacon. Um, and we need lettuce, which we will already have. And I won't, I don't know if it'll last throughout, like from Monday all the way till Saturday. So I am going to put lettuce here and I'll know since these are lunch ingredients, I won't need it till the weekend. So just in case the lettuce from the main shopping list is old and didn't last, I'll know. Okay. So for weekend lunch, you will need more lettuce. I hope that makes sense, y'all. Please leave any of your questions and comments or not, com well, yeah, I guess comments, <laughs> questions down below though, um, so I can answer any that you may have. So these tabs, as I mentioned in my last video, are for defrosting um, for the next night. So we're having tacos this night, which means on Monday night, I'll have to defrost ground beef. So for honey soy chicken night, I will need to defrost uh, boneless chicken thighs the night before. Okay, for eggplant lasagna, there's nothing to defrost. Um, and I don't wanna prep lasagna noodles, so I either may remove this tab or write NA, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Um, and then for Big Black Sloppy Joes, I need ground beef again. And then for curry chicken, I need um, hmm. I, don't, I honestly don't know if I wanna do hmm. Yeah, let's do chicken thighs, boneless. Um, and then to defrost for the smothered turkey, I just need the turkey wings defrosted. Okay, and then dinner on Monday. is <laughs> not here <laughs> is shrimp um which means that's another na technically so i am just gonna put na and i know na means not available but <laughs> whatever okay cool um then let's see Essentially, um, we're done. I do like to put things over here that are easy to prep before dinner gets started. So like for eggplant lasagna, um, I can boil noodles. Um, and I can mix the cheese mixture. I hope this is making sense. Again, any comments, please, any, I mean, any questions, comment down below. Um, Big Mac, Sloppy Joes, and fries. That's a quick one, um, but I can mix the sauce. That I pour over the beef. So mix Mac sauce for beef. Um, and I can just sit that in a fridge and have that like, you know, with some clear wrap over it so I don't have to worry about it when dinner comes um, I do work from home so like these are things that I can prep throughout the day I'm sorry I don't think I mentioned that um, but these are things that I can prep throughout the day for when it's time to cook at night um, loaded shrimp baked potato there's nothing I can really prep for that I mean I can cut the peppers cut pepper um, let's see 
taco bar that's easy basically everything yeah that's easy honey soy chicken and ramen um cut the bok choy um basically cut the the big thick ends off cut the bok choy up and have that ready um and then marinate chicken I'm not marinating the shrimp because I don't like to marinate my sh my seafood too long. Um, eggplant lasagna, I already said, boil the noodles, mix up the cheese mixture, and put the um, clear foil over. Clear foil, you know what I mean. Big Mac Sloppy Joes, I can make the Big Mac sauce. Nothing to prep for fries. Curry chicken and cabbage. Um, <sighs> let's see, for the cabbage, the only thing to do is to cut it up in the pieces that I like, and that takes no time, so I don't really need to prep that. Um, curry chicken, there's nothing really to do there. Smothered turkey, I can, um, there's no need to, but I can marinate it. I can also chop the onions, um, so chop onions. Marinate turkey, um, and then the sides are leftovers. All right, cool. That's that. So then, to help explain this section, that's why I just did those little tidbits. So over here, I have peppers to cut, chicken to marinate, sauce to make, cheeses, onions. Okay, and you see I put the little chop chop, um, so I'm just gonna put onions here, peppers, and I typically put either the day of the week or the amount that I'm gonna need for the week. Um, I have been switching it up, so, um, so onions, peppers, noodles, because we have ramen, we have, <coughs> excuse me, lasagna noodles, um, what else? There are some sauces that can be made ahead of time. Um, and then I think that's it. Um, and then that's typically the stuff, like I said, that can be pre-prepped. Um, or we also have the marinades. And then I would typically break it down either, like I said, by day or how much needs to be done that week. Um, I also, for marinades, I may list out different marinades that I'm using. So like maybe I'll marinate the smothered turkey a certain way. I'm going to mar obviously marinate the honey soy chicken a cer certain way, just so it's easy to see as opposed to having to pull out my pack of recipes. Um, now the recipes that you did see, comment down below again if you want to see how my recipe binder works. Um, but I do just pin each of those to the kitchen um, fridge while I'm cooking. Um, the fridge is like the side of the fridge is right next to the um, stove so I can see everything that's going on. Now I have been cooking for over 10, de oh, over 10 decades. Wow, I'm not that old y'all. I have been cooking for over a decade so I do know how to cook most things in my head but I do also like to have references nearby. Um, so as a, as a side from this section, which I, it, it looks like more so scratch, which I don't want to do on camera. Wow. I almost tore my paper up, um, which I don't want to do on camera. This is essentially what a week in my meal planner looks like. Um, I know this video is probably like 45 minutes. So with y'all, it took super long when I'm doing this by myself. I'm like, shum, 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 literally 10 minutes and I'm done. Um, in detail for the week off of based off of going off of the monthly um, again if you have any comments or questions please drop them down below again I hope to make this a series this is the first I will second video of the series um, so hopefully this gets better with time and you all start to understand the process better with time and I get better explaining it with time. Um, but you all have been so gracious and helpful and encouraging and just, I don't know, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you all. As I said, I have been cooking for over a decade. I, um, I just 
haven't been doing it this way and it's just so exciting to show you all my process and all the love that I receive back. So I do want to tell you all that I genuinely appreciate it. Please comment down below how you felt about this video. If you are excited for this series, I would appreciate a thumbs up. I wouldn't mind a subscribe if you are new. If you're returning, you already know how I feel about you. And I can't wait to see all of y'all in my next video. Bye!